Is this a bull trap or are we really up for a real bullish market reversal? After 12 days of analysis, finally my first Bitcoin bullish target has hit last night. So good morning everyone, my name is Yagub Rahimov. As usual, I'm here with my favorite subject, Bitcoin. Today, I am bombarded with a massive number of crypto related news. Market is amazing. There are also quite a few FUDs out there as well. And I'm going to be touching base each one of them one by one. So I come from a trading background. Cot reports have been essential for me when I do trade traditional financial markets. And I read the CFTC's Cot report for the Bitcoin futures. And it is amazing. So according to the CFTC cut report, the Bitcoin futures short positions has declined and the decline is more than 30% compared to June the 5th. So it's a very good news. Overall, it means the, the bears are kind of burning out themselves. If it is really reflecting the real market sentiment overall. Let's not forget the Bitcoin futures are not always the main part of the market driver overall speaking. Now, another great news overall is coming from Huobi team. Hi Lee. Hi Huobi team. So Huobi team is entering to the stock market. Although they have not officially acknowledged that they are going to be listed in an exchange yet. However, they have done a reverse IPO or backdoor uh, listing in a way. So reverse IPO basically means that when a company or when a party goes ahead and buys the majority of the stocks of a publicly listed company. So Huobi team acquired 73% of the Pantronics Holdings LTD, which is a Hong Kong stock exchange listed uh, company. So that pretty much means that Huobi can be a publicly listed company almost whenever they want. So let's see and wait to find out when Bobby is going to be listed in a uh, stock exchange. That also means, by the way, Bobby token is likely to appreciate. It has already appreciated by more than 8% if you look into the chart. Next, again, coming some, uh, something coming from the Bobby side. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg's sister, eldest sister by the way, Randy Zuckerberg has also joined Hobie's advisory team. So it means that Hobie is cooking something very big. So I will be looking forward to see the consecutive developments from Hobie. And here's another thing. It seems that some of the island countries are actually blockchain maniacs. So they are blockchain lovers, like let's see countries such as Malta, they are doing an amazing job. And Japan is leading, of course. And Korea has always been one of the crypto pioneers. So one thing that I read today, and I went backwards just to double check to see if it is really true or not. And it turns out that South Korean government is sponsoring a blockchain hackathon as a part of public awareness drive for blockchain integration or adoption. So if you are interested to be part of this uh, blockchain hackathon, applications are available and open. The real hackathon will take place in November as a part of the blockchain promotion week. So well done uh, South Korea. Thank you very much for supporting this ecosystem. Now a little bit of neutralish positive news overall comes from the big four. So Deloitte has announced that tech and telecom com companies are ready to invest millions in blockchain and they do see a very good application especially for uh, telecom uh, ecosystem or industry. Meanwhile PwC is saying that regulatory uncertainty and lack of user trust inhibit blockchain adoption. I personally believe that, by the way, PwC is missing the point between crypto and blockchain. Dear P PwC, crypto is not necessarily blockchain and blockchain regulation is kind of ridiculous. You don't have to 
regulate a technology. There is no such, uh, you know, illogical logic that calls a technology to be regulated. It just doesn't make really sense. Uh, however, of course, a lot of the companies probably are looking for ICOs and thinking that, well, we want to do the ICO. Of course, everybody wants to raise some funds. It's never enough for anybody. And they probably are afraid of making a mistake on the ICO side. So please do not make a mistake mixing crypto and blockchain to each other because they are at the same, while they are the same thing, they are just as much different topics. Now, I've got some bad news as well. The first one comes from Brazil. However, it doesn't have much of an impact on the market. So Brazil's crypto investment platform Atlas has been hacked. However, none of the tokens has been stolen or whatsoever. But the more than 260,000 users' private data has potentially been leaked. So nothing really having an impact on the market, but having potential and a potential impact on the Atlas and their clients, their uh, users overall. The next one is coming from China. Well, I just told a little earlier that China is cracking down on some of the crypto and ICO related media announcements and basically blocking everyone. So previously Tencent and uh, Alibaba said that we are going to be ba banning all the crypto related activities. Now, Baidu is joining that list as well. Seems like we are not really up for a proper, well, Chinese integration yet. But China is going to be moving in sooner or later. That's my commitment or my, uh, well, my, my belief in a way. Now let's move on to the technical side. What's really happening in the market. Finally, as I said, my first Bitcoin target remaining at $6,964. It was which I've been mentioning it for the last uh, two weeks has hit over the last night so currently Bitcoin price is staying at $6,910 the resistance that I can see immediately is uh, immediate at 6,964, 7,210 and my targets has not changed of course 7,500 or 7,505 to be more precise is my main bullish target for Bitcoin. Meanwhile, support has shifted a little higher. It stands at 6,628. The next support is at uh, 6,200 level. That is the main, well, mother of all the supports for the Bitcoin in a way for the time being. So Ether price, meanwhile, is, uh, has also gone a little higher. It's at currently 285. Resistance has not changed for me. 315 and I'm looking for 363 as the main target. Nothing has really changed. Supports remain at 270 and 250. Overall speaking, market has gained close to 10, 15 billion dollar uh, capitalization over the last 24 hours. I'm looking for further bullish developments. Meanwhile, Wolf of Wall Street uh, commenting that crypto lovers are brainwashed. My friend, we are not brainwashed. We, we are, some of us are not necessarily crypto enthusiasts, but we are libertarians, we are liberty lovers. And yes, I am brainwashed that everyone, including you, needs a liberty. Liberty for all, liberty for everyone. So this was Yagub Rahimov joining for A to Z Markets. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and subscribe it, press that like button, and please share our videos to reach out as many people as we can. For the time being, liberty for you as well. See you in our next video.